I'm speechless. There's so much going on in that. She has such a fantastic ability to control her voice. Didn't disappoint. Kia ora and welcome back. My name's Zoe Stibi, your vocal coach for today. And in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at Fozia singing 100 Band-Aids from her Stripped concert. Now, I've had a look at a couple of her other videos. You can check out my Fozia playlist here. Let's get to 100 Band-Aids. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of your support. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite Fozia song is because I absolutely love to get new recommendations for music that I should have a listen to. Let's get to the video. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news Cause it breaks my heart to break yours in two I don't want to be the one to make you cry And I don't want to see your tears fall on your sweater In this Gemini weather What else can I do? Nothing else to lose you can scream in anger I know it don't make it all better But what else can I do? Here's a hundred bad Oh, she definitely didn't disappoint whatsoever I w think I was listening to the lyrics And then listening to her voice So many cool things I think that's one of the hardest things About watching these songs for the very first time Because there's just so much to take in And especially with an artist as amazing as Fozia There's all sorts of things happening But you notice there that she went What else can I do? She went from that lovely thick vocal fold up into her falsetto. I've talked a little bit on the channel about this idea of that falsetto jump. But what I'm talking about is in the natural voice or in the untrained singer. When you go up over that first passaggio, there's a sort of place in your voice that when you try and go higher, you kind of have this feeling like something happens or you can't get up there or you kind of flip into a bit of a breathy sound. You go, Ooh, and you've got this big click going on. That's what we call the passaggio or you might have heard it called the voice break. I don't like to term it the break because there's nothing actually breaking at that point, but that's the kind of part of the voice where we need to use training in order to get up over top because, you know, what does your natural voice need with a couple of high notes? Well, they don't need them whatsoever for communication. So she's allowing that natural flip to happen. So what else can I do? and just allowing it to go into that lovely breathy sound at the top. You can reach that thicker vocal fold sound or what you might have heard called chest voice. So chest voice is thick vocal folds, neutral larynx position in the sort of speaky part of the range. And this is exactly where Fozia speaks. So if you hear her in any of the interviews, this is basically exactly what she sounds like at the beginning of the song. But let's keep watching. Ooh, here's a up your heartache what else can i do what else can i do you can scream in anger i know it's don't make it all better i know it don't make it all better ah. i'm speechless there's so much going on in that i do just have to say though that all of these things that I'm saying she's supposedly doing, this is my opinion and what I'm hearing, and it's incredibly subjective. Obviously, I'm not Fozia. I'm also not her vocal coach. So no one on YouTube is really 100% aware of what is really going on except Fozia herself. But from what I'm hearing, it, that's definitely not belt. And this is this idea of thicker vocal folds, 
further up out of where they kind of like to be. And the way that you can reach that sound right up there is by using a little bit of cry further up in the range. And by using that cry, you're going to be able to tilt the thyroid cartilage forward. So the thyroid cartilage is the shield of the larynx where the actual vocal folds insert into. And tipping that forward allows us to get a good stretch on the vocal folds to take those thicker folds further up the range. And then when she's going into that, yeah, that's pure twang. Now, how she's doing that, that's like a whole nother video that's kind of difficult to explain. And the way that we create that sound is with the Ari epiglottal sphincter. So the sphincter muscle around the outside of the epiglottis. I'll put a picture here of the epiglottis. You can see and what happens is the epiglottis comes down and it helps to reflect the sound back down onto the vocal folds and actually helps us to close the vocal folds. So that's why the sound is not breathy whatsoever. But what it also does is it makes the sound kind of laser pointed in a way. It makes it very, very tight and it boosts these frequencies between two and four and we hear that as being very very loud so she's probably not singing very loud at all she's just using this epiglottis movement in order to get that sound which I mean to me that's sort of like effort level two but because I've added in a twang then it makes the sound seem and appear to be louder <gasps> let's keep watching Getting flashbacks now of that December night. Sweet memories are turning vile. I don't want to be the one to make you cry. I don't want to see your tears fall on your sweater in this Gemini weather. What else can I do? Nothing else to lose. You can scream in anger, I know it don't make it all better, but what else can I do? Here's a hundred bad. Gosh, she is just amazing, isn't she? She has such a fantastic ability to control her voice. The second verse leading into the pre-chorus, that was pretty similar to the first verse there. Absolutely stunning. Now, this is where Fozia's voice lives okay as I said when you hear her speak and then you hear her sing that first verse and the second verse it sounds one and the same so for those of you who are looking to get that slightly darker sound I don't really see the reason why you would want to necessarily copy exactly what she's doing um, but as I say it's a little bit about the larynx height so she's got that little bit of that darkening going on there um, and then in the way that you can do that is you can kind of pretend like it's just a little bit sad at that point so you know <laughs> having a bit of a cry and that's the way that you're going to get that slightly darker sound going on with your singing. Yeah, it can get a little bit <laughs> irritating if you just go around speaking like this the whole time. And it is a little bit tiring as well on your voice. So just be careful your chin's not going up, thinking about your posture. Fozia's posture is absolutely incredible. And now we're going to launch into the chorus. Ooh, here's a hundred band-aids to match up your heart. I know it don't make it all better. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my goodness, as usual, absolutely stunning performance there from Fozia. If you're looking to do that little bit of a yodel that she does there, um, I heard someone call it her little Arabic flip. Um, I'm not really sure that you could call it any particular culture, um, but, you know, you do hear that kind of flip coming in a little bit more in Arabic music than you maybe do here in Western music, but it's also, it's a straightforward yodel. Um, so you're going from that thick vocal fold up into the falsetto. La 
So I want you to practice going up and down over that passaggio that I was talking about and letting the voice flip up into that breathy sound. Uh, so doing that uh, and letting that natural flip occur as you're going higher and back down the range. So my goodness me, Fosia, you're incredible. I absolutely love seeing what you're bringing out. Thank you so much for doing such a fantastic concert for us, especially seeing as we are all at home and we get to enjoy your wonderful music. Let me know what you think down in the comments. What's your favorite song from Fosia's Stripped Concert? I'll put a link in the description below to the full concert because it's, I really do recommend it. It's absolutely fantastic. What do you think though? If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button because I bring out videos just like this one every single week. What do you want to see though? I want to help you sing more like your favorite artist in the comfort of your own home. So let me know down in the comments what you would like me to take a look at. I'd add it to the list though. The list is pretty bloody long, but I'll do my best. Have an awesome rest of your day. Happy singing like Fosia. Kaki